not scoop. I feel like I've been here before. You just walked in, but I feel so sure. And in my mind, I'm trying to find. Elia Fox, welcome to Pop Scoop. Hey. Hello. I don't think we've spoken to you yet. Very exciting. Oh, no. Well, it is. It's first time for everything. We are very excited. So you've had a big couple of days with the release of the Good Friends Acoustic EP. Tell me more about that. Good Friends Acoustic. Um, really, I was just really excited to get some new music out to the fans. It's been a couple of months now. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. You know, it's kind of, I've been in the studio for so long now, like working on an album and kind of figuring out my sound. And as I've finally started to wrap things up, uh, I thought an acoustic EP would be awesome just to give something to the fans. and kind of show where I'm at right now with the music. It's one of those things that as an artist you've, you're always trying to find your sound and where you're going to be placed in the industry and with you probably perception a lot of people probably thought that suddenly you were Elia Fox but you've actually had quite a journey way before being a YouTuber so you yeah. were <laughs> you me at six support yeah and you performed at the O2 before you even were Elia Fox so how long has that journey really been for you? Uh, well, I don't know. I feel like every musician's journey is usually since birth. Ooh. Oh, deep. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> swear. Um, but I don't know. You know, it's, it's been for a while. You know, it really started when I was in uh, high school. And I was in, like, my high school band. And I was about 13 years old. And, yeah, we just... It's just music. I've always just wanted to do music. And, like, we were doing kind of rock and pop punk, sort of, that kind of music. And, uh, yeah, we were just doing shows literally everywhere. And I guess on the occasion, we just got really lucky. and end up getting a random shot at the O2 Arena. And that was when I was 14, so that was like, that was amazing, that was like, definitely a high. Um, and then, yeah, it's just, I guess things just came about, and when I was about 16, it just, we decided it was just best to break up, and after that, I kind of took a year off school, well, I was only a year off school when we broke up, and I was kind of had six months left, and I was like, I don't want to go to school, I really <laughs> don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do, I've gotta go to, gotta was go to college. Was it always a decision to wanna be a solo artist, was that always like the main aim? I don't know, there's never been a name, I'm just aimless. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a, it, was, it wasn't It was necessarily solo artist, but it was just being creative and making music and whatever way that was, I guess, I just got better and better at singing and I felt like I can actually sing a song like by myself, so why not, let's do it. And, it. Yeah, and it's just cool and it's just, I really love it and I love just making music and I love a fan, so I just you, The fans love on. you. Yeah, I know, it's awesome. So since your singles and then this acoustic EP, do you think even within those few months that your sound's really changed? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And I think, because um, I'm so young as well, like I'm 19 now, and I feel like I'm just always growing. I'm always changing. Hopefully not too crazy. I won't end up doing like a death metal record or anything. But <laughs> Swinging naked on a wrecking ball, maybe. Well, that could still happen. That's still possible. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely always changing, but nothing too drastic. But I've I'm actually always... been a fan for quite a while since I discovered you from the Ryan Seacrest competition. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And you did a really cool uh, mashup of Skyscraper and Miley Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was on repeat on my laptop oh, thanks. For, for quite a few weeks, I have oh. to say. So it's nice to finally meet you. But until then, I feel like we could be good friends. Yeah, good friends. I feel like we could be good friends. Yeah, girls. Yeah, I mean, the question is, can girls and guys truly be friends? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that one out. Because when I listen to repeat this yeah. morning, I'm a big fan, but I've had, I've got some questions for you, Elia. Yeah. Okay, so all these songs are about women and about love, and the yeah. EP is called Good Friends. Yeah. So explain that one. I don't know. You know what? Good Friends is quite funny. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's about not necessarily being in a relationship with someone, but when you're together it is like that and I, I don't know I think a lot of people go through that but yeah Good Friends is a bit of a story rather than a song but yeah it's, it is that it is that kind of that difficult line between that friends area. it's that grey area and you know it's not gonna be a relationship and you both know but that and you know what it is but it's but it's more than friends because when I listened to the, to the song Good Friends I kind of thought so you're talking about this girl's lips and you've asked her on holiday and then you're kind of telling her that she's your mate, and I think that's a bit confusing for a girl. Mixed messages there, Elia. Yeah, but we both know what it is. Come on, it's not Do just. We? I mean, I think it's unfair. I, <laughs> at least I hope so. I think it's unfair, you know. Um, I think you, if you are going to have a, 
kind of half relationship or I think you both half gotta be kind of kind of kind of in if that's what you wanna call it, but I think you both gotta be in the same position and have that understanding of what's gonna happen. I love the EP. Thanks. My favourite's New York City. Yeah. So how did you choose which one was gonna kind of be the title track? Which one are you gonna be kind of performing the most? What was your decision um, there? To be honest, it was just what because it's an EP and it wasn't necessarily like a big single release or an, like an album or anything. It was just kind of four songs that I wanted everyone to enjoy. Uh, I didn't feel like there was much pressure to name it after a single. Do you I want just, to overanalyze it too much? Yeah, I just thought, well, Good Friends sounds the best. It's like a really cool EP name. So it's a bit I of thought, a thank you for the fans as well. Exactly. they've been massively loyal Exactly. To you. It just sounded like positive, happy, the fans are friends. So I just felt, yeah, it'd be a good time. And I was slightly disappointed, but kind of quite interested the fact that your EP cover, your face isn't on it. Yeah. Tell me, was that a kind of a deliberate thing? Yeah, because I mean... we like this face. Thanks. The fans like the face, too. The face likes you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. You know, it just... It was, again, it was... I guess it because it was like... Just a little thing. Just to give away to you people. You didn't want to make it I too didn't, much of a yeah, big deal. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of like just... Yeah, I mean, also, I did a competition on Twitter where uh, the fans designed it. So actually, instead of oh, sending it off to nice. someone else to get it made up, um, actually, we just did a tweet and a video saying, if you want to get design, creative, guys. Yeah, get creative, get everyone involved. And it's cool, you know, this EP just really feels like everyone's part of it. It feels like our work. And the of reaction art. has been awesome. Yeah, it's been really cool. I didn't know what people would think, you know, because especially something like Good Friends, it's different to something that I've done before. So. Yeah, no it's people. It's a little really bit more mellow, it. isn't it? This, I mean, I know it it's a super mellow, beat, yeah. but your singles have been kind of quite, quite upbeat. very catchy, very upbeat, real traditional like pop tracks. Whereas this is definitely a development in terms of your songwriting. Yeah, for sure. And um, yeah, I guess it's just going to keep happening. But yeah, I'm looking forward to just releasing different things and showing different sides of me and musically and just my personality and what I am. So um, we've talked about the live dates. What else is in the pipeline? What can the fans expect in the future? Well, if I just unscrew these pipes over here, we're going to have a look. <laughs> the pipeline. Let's get inside. <laughs> um, what's in the pipeline? Really, it is just releasing more music for now. Um, obviously, I've got a bunch of shows coming up, and at the minute, I'm focusing on... I hope I'm not out of shot here. Sorry, I've just totally just chilled out. Uh, but, yeah, no, really, right now, I'm focusing on just putting out new music. Uh, I'm actually doing a few collaborations. Uh, some musically and actually some non musically, which is a gonna non music be, collaboration. Yeah, that with uh, with yeah, with some YouTube stuff, which is really cool. I'm really excited for it. Still includes music, but um, is that kind of like a presenting thing? No, potentially. No, no, I'm so not quite. It's quite mysterious. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying too much right now, but it's really cool and it's going to be fun and funny. And yeah, it'll be it'll be coming out. This and year. I think I think some more meet and greets because the fans. The yeah, you know, I love more. I love doing stuff like that. It's really cool, you know. I love just getting to meet fans and just busking, playing busking. live. I've always liked busking, you know. I did um, uh, a thing, uh, Busk for Cancer, when I was like, I think I was about 14, and it was with uh, my mate, my old bandmate at the time. And um, that was really cool. Like, we had like banners, we had balloons, we had these massive oversized t-shirts. We were the original hipsters. Sometimes and it's quite nice to go from like doing the arena stuff and then kind of taking it really back, stripping totally. it all back. And uh, it's funny though, because even like when I, um, I was doing, like my last tour that I did was supporting The Wanted. Even between then, I was still doing the busking. Like on the days off, I would go to the city I was in and just, I would call them uh, tweet and greets. Tweet and, and greets? Just tweet, tweet where I was, usually like the day before or the morning of, and just turn up and- And then watch them flood in. Whoever comes down, comes down. Would they give you money? You know what, like a I was. Busker? Yeah, it's awkward. I always make sure I close my guitar case in case yeah. people do throw money. Or knickers. I'm sure you've received some weird yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, that'd be strange. I'm, would I be a knicker busker? A knicker busker? Knicker busker. We could tweet that. Yeah, I wouldn't Get, want that. No, no, want yeah, that. no, no. Let's not go down the road. Anyway, thank you very much for speaking to Pop hey, Scoop. It's been a massive here. pleasure. Um, best of luck with everything. We're going to try and get down to your London, your so. London date, which would be wicked. And um, good luck. Thanks. Pop scoop.